So, um, ladies and gentlemen, when we're looking into finding the rule, remember we talked about the rule has sub subscript notation. So it's going to be a sub n equals. All right. Now remember, we're going to have that n variable in there, and we're going to want to figure out what a sub 1 is. So a lot of times what I like to do is say, all right, well, let's start with 1. If I was going to plug in n for 1, what are some things that I could do to obtain 3, right? Well, obviously, you could say a sub n. Let's try this. 3 times n. Would that work for a sub 1? Yeah, because a sub 1 would be 3 times 1, which equals 3. So that works for a sub 1. Does that work for a sub 2, though? No, it's not going to work, right? So you can always start with a sub 1 and then try to move out to the next one. All right? Um, and there's a couple different techniques that we can you know, look at, it, or at least how they're going to move. But so the next thing that I always like to look at is, all right, well, what could I? We have a multiplying. Well, that's not going to work. Um, now let's go and look at maybe multiplying by a number and then adding or subtracting something. So what else could I multiply? I could do, where did my eraser go? Why don't I do a sub n equals exactly what we had, 2n plus 1. Does that work for a sub 1? No. Yes. yes. <laughs> that works right. But does that work for a sub 2? No. no, it doesn't work, right? It gets us close, um, but it's not going to. It's not going to work for 2 because that equals 5. So now I can look at what about if I multiply above and subtract? Well, one example I could be here. What about I try um, 4n minus 1? All right, And what we're doing, again, is just you're looking at the product. Five equals nineteen. So, ladies and gentlemen, 